Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jersey. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own hummingbird feed, how to properly wash your hummingbird feeder, and how to prevent ants getting into the hummingbird feed. Hummingbird feed ratio is one to four. Four parts water to one part sugar. This is organic, unrefined cane sugar. I really don't buy the white stuff. I'm going to boil this for about two minutes once it starts to boil. And we are back, just to note, on this type of burner. This is 1100 watts, this is 700 watts. This never boiled. So I'm gonna boil this slowly. It doesn't have to rapid boil as long as it's boiling. Two full minutes. Then I'm gonna let it cool for an hour before I put it in the bottles. And it's all dissolved because I've been stirring it. And we are back. This one batch, We'll fill the container up for the hummingbird feeder and three other Dollar Tree containers. I usually run two hummingbird feeders, but I already filled the other one up. And that is why I have one extra container. And then I'll carry this outside. When I fill this up, I wash it outside in hot soapy water. I will be showing you how to do that in just a moment and I bring one of these and I fill it up right outside. So this is with hot soapy water, I wash it, I bring one of these from the refrigerator and then I put it in and hang it up. And that's it. I grate my all natural veggie soap in this container so I do not have to touch the bar of soap and contaminate it. It is much easier just to grate flakes into the water. I add a splash of bleach or even a splash of vinegar to the water. Give it a good stir, take a part, your hummingbird feeder and start washing it in the very hot water. Using hot water, rinse it very well several times. Now I'm gonna put it back together. Inspect it, make sure it's clean. I usually do this in the evening, though it really doesn't matter if the nectar came right from the refrigerator and is cold. So now we're ready to hang this back up. I'm gonna wipe the old Vaseline off. I coat it very heavily. This prevents the ants from crawling down it. And I just wipe it off. I refill it, sometimes it's every few days. I like to keep it under the eaves where it's a little bit darker and not out in the bright sunshine. Hook it up. always come in and do some right above this too. That's it. This stays in my gardening cabinet. It doesn't get mixed up with the house so it doesn't matter if my finger gets in it. Thank you for stopping by. Please share, leave a comment, and give a like. If you would like a more detailed in-depth on hummingbird, hummingbird feeders, and why it is important to keep their nectar to be changed frequently, stop by the blog, the link is below.